Rated M for Mature. You know, swirling vortex teleporter, I think you're the only one here that understands me. Mostly because my robot girlfriend isn't really paying attention to me anymore. Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 3. Guess what we did in the last part? We summoned so many Personas. So many. We got Norn, Dousaljo, Thanatos, Odin, and actually we had Cert before, and also Yuria. We got a bunch of Powerhouse Personas. We also completed a bunch of Liz requests. However, we are still super duper tired, so we're going to bed. And then we're going to do some stuff on Sunday. And okay, it is winter vacation still. Now, today is Sunday, and pretty much for every, actually, only one more Sunday after this Sunday, we're going to go to the park to see our good buddy, the Sun Arcana. And here we are, and wow, this place has been, uh, vandalized? Uh, that doesn't even feel like a fitting word. It's just it's completely destroyed. What's going on here? Huh. Well, apparently she doesn't really know the end. Rubs her the wrong way. Goodness, this... This park's definitely seen better days, but how are you doing, Akinari? Are you feeling better? Oh, it's you. Why don't you have a seat? This bench is too big for me alone. And yeah, let's chill out with Akinari and talk to him for a little bit. So, I'd like you to congratulate me. As of today, I'm a free individual. Wait, what? You... Did you finish your story? That quickly? <laughs> no, not quite yet. Almost, though. Oh, at least he's smiling. I just got back from the hospital. They're going to admit me, but not anymore. I guess my body's too weak to undergo surgery, so I refused any medication as well. So much for the hospital, right? Yeah, they can only do so much. Now, I'm just waiting for the end. But... I don't feel like I'm the only one being singled out anymore. Everyone is here, waiting to die. If you do think about it, some just have a little longer to wait than others. But once the time comes, it's the same for all of us. I'm a little lonely, but not sad anymore. Dang. I want to remember what you look like. Johnny saw him. So... That time's getting closer. Akinari's out of the hospital, but he stopped taking his medicine. Who knows how much longer we'll be able to sit on this bench with him. And wow, doesn't seem Akinari has a lot of time left. It's really Sup, depressing. Dude. Sup, dude. Sup, Junpei. Seems like you're holding well together after the recent events. That's good. Well, let's check on our condition really quickly. Unfortunately, we're still very tired. So I think it's probably best that we probably go to bed for a 10 minutes. Actually, I need to go sell some stuff. So after I go to the pharmacy to sell some items, I'm basically going to go to bed and then do some events Monday. Now, our next mission, essentially, is to try and max out the Moon Arcana before winter vacation is over. If we can do that, then we'll be in the clear. And also, I kind of want to improve my condition, but since we can't go to school, I guess we're going to have to settle for good condition to go to TARDIS. But anyways, back to the mall. So, uh, Nazame, how's it going? You seemed a little upset at me last time, and hey, I haven't been doing so well since last time. I think it's because of those things you said against God. I beg so hard for your soul that I think I even lost weight. Uh, something tells me that's not possible, Nazume, but alright. Uh, yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. I eat chicken, <laughs> fried chicken first thing in the morning, okay. Probably not the best, uh, first meal of the day, but hey, it's alright. And look, I get it, alright? You're embarrassed to be seen with me, I can tell. I'm not like my little brother, I can't study for hours and my stubby legs won't let me be athletic. And I'm genetically predisposed to spilling on my clothes. Uh huh. Everyone hates me. They all wish I could be more like my little brother. 
Seems like you have some insecurity issues, Nazame. That one's always making fun of you, huh? Wish the whole world would go away right now? Uh... That's not a really good mindset. And hey, Johnny, uh, I'll try my best to make it to paradise. I'll have a totally sweet new body. I'll be taller, more slender, and my body will glow. So, I'll be safer at night. See? And I won't interfere with my brother. Or inter be inferior. Whatever. Nazume has a lot of dialogue, and so please don't abandon me. So yeah, Nazume, he's kind of showing insecurity about his weight. That he's really upset he can't live up to his little brother's standings, and... He thinks we're embarrassed to be around him, which simply isn't the truth. Seems like uh, we need to talk to Nazume a little bit more in the coming days. And well, that happened. Don't really know what exactly is going on with Nazume and that dude, but I guess it's none of our business. And hey, have you noticed these weird symbols and posters all around town? Yeah, they were near the shrine. They're really creeping me out. Nyx must be affecting people's minds. We should go to Tartarus. Month is gonna totally put hype lie, you know? Yes, Yukari, you are right. So let's go, Fuka. Even though we're not feeling great and Siegfried is not gonna do his maximum damage, today is still a good day to go to Tartarus. So let's go. Ugh. So I wanna basically just test out my new personas and see how well I fare against the shadows in Adama. Because, well, I'm not totally sure they're even strong enough, but we'll see, we'll see. But really quickly, need to go see. And, okay, the next order of business is to climb and make the uh, Judgment Arcana level up ASAP, because as you can see, it's only level 3, which we want it to be higher, obviously. So let's head inside this teleporter and take on the shadows of Adama. Ooh. And yeah, this place is, we're not even close to being done with it, but we're getting there. We've defeated one of the five bosses that we have to defeat, and why do I have the Mother Ebay still on? Huh. I think I, I think that was during some of my grinding in two episodes ago. Not too sure. But it don't matter. We need to take on the shadows. I'm going to probably show off the Anatos and all those really fancy skills, which we never got to see. But, well, I don't really remember. Anyways, let's see if this is in fact a new enemy. Nope, just these old guys. Uh, I still know what these guys are even weak to. Man, doesn't really matter. I could do something though, I'm going to show off Thanatos's, well, actually it's not Thanatos's ability, but Die For Me, which was the special skill that we gained from Alice. And essentially this is what it is. Wait, what? They dodged it? Come on! Oh man, I think these guys like resist um, instant death skills, which would be slightly, nope, it just missed. Interesting. Huh. Oh well. It's not really a big deal, but yeah, that's what it does. It has a high chance of killing everybody, uh, but these guys seem to have really good evasion, so, huh. Not really too sure about that. And Junpei still unfortunately has Blade Fury. The final ability he gets is um, Vorpal Blades. That's pretty cool. Let's actually show off Odin really fast. So we want to level Odin up a little bit so we can get access to Thunder Rain. So we're going to use Maziodine to knock all these things down. And there goes Odin. He is of the Norse Pantheon and he's really sneaky cool. Anyways, so that has been taken care of. Just want to show off those uh, skills. Let's take the EXP because we desperately need EXP at this point, and I picked the wrong. I'm an idiot, basically. And, okay, what is the next floor we need to get to? We need to get to, um, 228, which is a while away. It's kind of high up there, but we can make it. We can make it. I mean, we've come this far. We can go a little bit more. After all. So now I'm basically going to try and get to as little battles as possible just so I can start climbing, because I'm pretty sure we've seen every single enemy that we're going to encounter. And okay, nice, the stairs. So we have a little ways to go up. Um, Seven more floors, I believe? Well, technically six, but yeah, yeah, keep going. I need to scan a little more. And okay, the stairs are right there. Super. So what I want to do is I want to get onto the next boss. I'm pretty certain that I can take on the next boss, even without Siegfried being in great condition. So that's good. Um, I might actually... Huh. Does, do I have any ice skills? No, I really don't think I do. Hmm, that could be problematic, but it's okay. I'm pretty sure, okay, and we're gonna get a rank up because we figured out where the next Tartarus Guardian is. And now, Judgment is rank, um, four? Yeah, it's rank four. Once we defeat the boss, it'll be rank five, so we'll technically be halfway done with it, Arcana. So that's pretty nice, so let's, uh, be on our merry way. And right up here is a chest, there's no downside of getting that chest, even though it's an odd morsel. Yes, even in the final area of Tartarus, you're going to get those useless items. Kind of a bummer. And okay, now I'm trying to see, who do I really need to level up quickly next? I believe Yukari does have her best healing skills, but at the same time her damage is kind of lacking. 
I could check which uh, skills my party members are going to learn next, but I feel like that would honestly be a waste of time, because they're eventually going to learn them. It doesn't really matter who I level up the fastest. They're eventually all going to get their skills. I'm trying to see what are, what are the most useful ones. Um, off screen, Mitsuru did get Mind Charge, so she now has that ability, but she doesn't always like to use it, which is kind of the downside. You still can't beat the fact that she's the only character in the game, aside from yourself, that can learn Mind Charge. And well, we got a buttload of experience from that last random encounter, but it wasn't really too interesting. It was just Cert basically using one fire attack and destroying them all. Even though Cert is a super low level, just the fact that he has fire, boost, and amp on the same persona just makes him so deadly. Even though he can really not an easy way get Spellmaster, which decreases the amount of cost that his spells are going to cost to use. He's still probably one of the best personas in the game, just based on how easy he is to obtain and how awesome his skills are. Just not awesome, just useful. And this is not where I want to be, unfortunately. And oh boy, we ran into one of those enemies that loves to spam Mudo. Ugh. Did not want to run into this dude. Oh well, no, no, he's using Maturakaja, which is gonna do a bunch of crap, actually. We're just gonna run away. And this guy's entire existence was completely nullified. And unless he is despawned, it will never show up again. But yeah, essentially, I ran into one of those Mudo spamming uh, shadows and had to use Recarm a couple of times on Yukari. She kept getting focused, which was sort of annoying, but it's alright. It's not really the end of the world if she gets hit once or twice. And oh, but if I get hit, though, that'd be bad. And goodness gracious, I'm running out of SP in a very annoying rate. And obviously that is bad, because if I run out of SP, then I can't use my magic attacks that destroy all the enemies. And where the crap is the exit here, dude? Goodness, I might actually be lost on the floor right almost at the end. Oh, it's all right over here. Well, that is kind of annoying, but yeah, we are finally at floor 228, which means we can now go back downstairs, save, heal up, and get ready for the next boss, which is going to be a pain in the butt, because these three are not very easy to defeat. If I recall, you should probably be around level 65 or 60-something, 60 64 probably, to take on these next guardians. So basically, here's the deal with these next bosses. They are not immune to physical attacks, yet they love to spam Tetracharm. And these are the Carnal Snakes, for those who don't know, Carnal is kind of like a bad way of saying, like, um... Ah, just look it up. <laughs> it seems these are Guardians. These are the uh, Lover Arcana. They each have 2200 health. I equipped Uriel to get Auto Turokaja. Now, here is my idea. I'm not going to be spamming spells all too much, also I need to scan them. And we're going to set uh, Ikari to heal and support. And Junpei guys can just do physical attacks, and we're going to power charge on turn one. Hopefully we can get off of Whirlpool Blade. Hopefully. If we can, that's really great. If we can't, that's okay too. So Mitsuru is pretty much the only one that's going to do decent damage to these things. Granted though, Mitsuru is not really the best in the world at anything, so... We'll just see how it goes, and okay, well, that actually did pretty good damage, and now we know that they are, in fact, giant pains in the butts. Now, what they will do is they'll use Fire Break pretty much on everybody that resists fire, so basically just Junpei. And Mitsuru, because I gave Mitsuru that one item, and wow, that did, like, zero damage. Yeah, just focus on healing, though, okay? <laughs> and alright, so they did not use the Tetracarm, so I'm going to try a Vorpal Blade and see how much damage that can do. Um, it'll be pretty good. Yeah, 500. That's pretty respectable. And hopefully, Yukari will heal Junpei or me or just somebody other than herself. Well, Junpei has his Spring of Life, so he should be okay. And alright, his Blade Fury is gonna connect and do pretty decent, respectable damage. But here comes the Madoon, which messes me up. Luckily, it missed. These guys essentially just have really, really, really bizarre attacks. They have Mara Gadine, Madoon, Firebreak, Tetracron. Spirit Drain, Dikaja Dikunda, and Life Drain. Also, the Mudo skill is like, it's like really stinking random. I don't really get it. Okay. What is the best course of action to do right now? Well, I'm just going to power charge and hope for the best. Seriously, that is the best thing we could do. I should have equipped my katana to give me just a little bit more damage. But I think we're going to be all right. Masura seems to be doing uh, decent damage to everybody. Um, that's pretty okay damage. It's not really the best. I mean... That's all right. They're dying, aren't they? Well, that's good. But really, Junpei, his 
his AoE damage is just unparalleled. He's so handy for grinding. He's just all around a great character, and I just... I don't know, it's probably my personal bias, but I just love playing with him. He's just so cool. And luckily, we have Yukar with the Recon, which is really dangerous to bring Siegfried in here, actually, because I just remembered he's weak to, um... Uh, what's it called? Mudo. So that's really not good. However, we have Vorpal Blade, and Vorpal Blade don't give a crap, so we're going to do a ton of damage, hopefully getting a crit. Eh, we didn't get a crit. This boss light is pretty much over. Junpei should be able to use Blade. Oh, let's go for the slash attack. That's cool, too. And Mitsur is going to do her Bufu Dine. This is what Bufu Dine looks like. I'm pretty sure I showed it off before. It's just like a giant ice cube. It's kind of funny, and those bosses went down pretty easily. That's what you get when you don't use Tetracharm and you're a boss battle. And as a result of defeating the second Tartarus Guardian of Adama, we're going to get rank 5 in the Judgment Arcana. So that Arcana is basically halfway leveled up. It's pretty nice, huh? Pretty nice. And we should be able to encounter some new enemies that we have not seen in Adama. And, well, level up much quicker. So yeah, all around a pretty good battle. So I'm going to go back downstairs once I reclaim my treasure. Actually, not reclaim. It's, it's never mind. We, get with, we got some precious eggs. Not bad. We may have to use those in the coming battles. So I really didn't use too much strategy in that last battle. I just had Siegfried, who is borderline overpowered. And you should really use him if you're struggling with these bosses. But anyways, our next goal now is to climb up another eight floors and take on the next Triderous Guardian, which I probably won't be able to do in this episode just because we actually kind of did... Actually, uh, let me check the timer. Eh, we can probably sque We might be able to squeeze it in, or at least just getting there. Ooh, the stairs. Very nice, very nice. Now, I really don't want to daffle too long in these lower level floors of Tartarus, just because there's honestly no point. If I can get to the higher EXP sections, why would I not stay there and grind up? It's inefficient to stay down there and just keep grinding it. Oh, a Daring Gigas! There we two wind and these light balances. Uh, I have no stinking idea, but we're gonna look. Um, that doesn't really matter. Okay. So we're gonna get to go into, um, where is she? Norn. And do, um, I guess, Panta right now. We can use Mara. No. Uh, yeah. We use Mara Gadan or Garu Dine. And see how much damage that can do. Pretty good damage, actually. Nice. So, her abilities are very appreciated. Her wind attacks are very strong, and it's really helpful if you got them. And Tetrafu is going to make sure that the enemies can't really do much or cast any spells. Now, let me see these light balances. Okay, they're only weak to Zeo. Oddly enough, did not see that coming. Doesn't really make sense, but it doesn't matter. Junpei is going to get the finishing blow on this Gigas, and it is out of here. Cause that only did, that only 73 damage. What the heck, Junpei? <laughs> then again, I guess he kind of calculated that. And okay. Junpei really can't do much here. He's kind of almost useless till he gets uh, his main attack, which is um, what's it called again? I don't remember. But it's pretty good. Let's go and see Panta Ray. And this really cool animation. Essentially, it's just this giant hurricane does like severe amounts of damage. Obviously, and we're gonna switch into Odin. Almost sounds like I'm talking about Pokemon. And do a Muzzledine. Just to take down these balances, and yeah. Odin is really stinking strong, even at a low level. He's definitely one of my favorite personas, honestly. Just, he's, he's kind of like dignified, you know? He's not like, he's not really like Thor. Thor is kind of a jerk, if you haven't noticed, in the Shin Megami Tensei games. I'm not talking about actual mythology or even the Marvel comics, but he's not depicted as the nicest guy in Persona games. Odin, on the other hand, has always been kind of a cool dude. Pretty respected. No, the shadow's coming for me. Uh, 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 can't catch me though. <laughs> I'm a little too fast for this dude, so let's try and find the exit though. And we are in a bit of a pickle. Let's just keep going though, and I am really screwed. Great. This is not looking good. Let's see if this is a new enemy. In fact, yes, it is. These are, I have no stinking idea, but they're gonna do almighty attacks like Megiddo, which isn't nice. Not nice, guys. Not nice. The infinite sand. Um, our week two, I believe. Um, I believe, uh, where is it? I just saw it. Come on. Okay, we'll just scan them. Okay, infinite sand. Infinite sand or weak to ice. We do not have any ice attacks. They also resist fire, so don't do any of that nonsense. Um, I think I'm just gonna go into Siegfried. Like, I do need an ice persona, but those are of the Empress or the, uh, Priestess. And the Priestess persona start getting kind of weird in the later levels, so we're probably not going to get one of those, and okay, Junpei being a team player and using some powder, and okay. 
Those are its moves, it just has Aggie and such. But Mitsuru's gonna come in, use her Bufu Dine attack, and there you go. Doing tons of damage, and oh, you should have hit the other one. Why didn't you hit the other one? We're all dead now, except me, because I actually blocked that, so that's nice. Yukari, instead of healing our precious party members, is gonna use Windbreak, which is extremely selfish, but eh, it's alright. Let's actually go into, uh... Actually, I was using another Vorpal Blade. Vorpal Blade takes, like, no stinking health away. It's so... It's so good. I mean, obviously, I have the Arms Master ability on, but still, it's just so helpful. And okay, one slash attack, and those things are out of there. Sort of annoying enemies, but yeah, I need to grab a Ice Persona. But I just can't... I can't think of one out of the top of my head that I actually really, really liked. That's why I kind of just used Mitsuru towards the end of the game, because she does have those ice attacks inherently, so... Yeah, and there's that. Let's get this chest really quick. No, there's a <laughs> there's a shadow guarding it. I don't really care. The less battles, the better. Actually, the less battles on this floor, the better. And don't hit me! Don't hit me. And unfortunately, Yukari died in that last encounter, which it was kind of her fault, because she's still not immune to all elements. What a noob. Just kidding, we're going to use a recarm on her. And bring her back out, then we're going to request some healing. And Thanatos, if you get him, if he has enough luck, he's actually pretty much going to use Die for me, and it's going to connect, like, pretty often. So that's what happened in the last battle, and it was very nice. So I'm going to use some of my Cups of uh, King, I believe, to give him some more luck. Or maybe not. I can barely sense the power, but it's close, so let's get a little bit closer. Let me get that social link rank up with our party members. And let's go over here, because I feel like... The inch, the exit is on this side, but I could be wrong. Oh, there's a chest. Well, it's pretty good. A Megiddo gem. We still have not had a use for those Megiddo gems, because they do even less damage than Megiddo itself. And so, alright, let's try and find this exit. There's a couple of places that are open up to us, but there's also a ton of dead ends, so this could be a little bit of a tricky staircase to find, but we may be able to find it, and there's nothing over there. I already looked over there with the crap. What, why am I doing that? Why am I doing I always do that, man. I'm like, oh, maybe it's over here. When I've already explored that area, and it's not over there either. Huh. Where is this place? Well, it has to be over here. This is the only place left to go. I'm going to be so upset if it's literally just, like, you take one step, and you're at it. Well, yeah, that's pretty much what happened, huh? Goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay. So, 232. We need to get to uh, 236. So, four more floors, and... Yeah. I think, yeah, four more floors. Now let's try it. Okay, so getting pretty lucky so far. And if there's any enemies that are, I find to be relatively annoying, I'm going to show off their weaknesses and stuff. But so far, there's only one enemy like that, and it's off the hanged. And ooh, a special treasure, I want that. I know, hey, new enemies. These are Doom Soul. Okay. So what are these guys weak to? Well, they are in fact weak to ice, yet again. Guess who doesn't have any ice attacks? This guy. So we're just gonna try die for me, and see how much damage, actually not damage, but see if we can take any of them with us. No, okay, we took one of them, so that's good. And luckily Mitsuru has her ice skills on point. And, well, one missed, unfortunately. Okay. They're strong to slash, they don't have any slash attacks, but you wanna do that. It's only gonna do like half damage, or actually less than half. And you obviously don't want that. Are we still using Magula? It's not that good of a move. Yeah, we need to move on. Do some stronger attacks. Junpei gonna try his best to do that. Let's try let's try dive for me one more time. I got one more dive for me in there. And okay, that one actually connected and killed them all. See that see how useful dive for me is? As long as they do not resist Mudo, you're gonna you're gonna kill something. <laughs> Basically. And yeah. You leaf there was on number four. That one was pretty sick and fast, wasn't it? Kind of funny. And we leveled up a bit near our chest. And ooh, apocalypse, apocalypse. We gotta give the sword to Junpei. It just sounds cool, man. Apocalypse. Wow, 50 SP. I don't know, Junpei. I kind of want that, but I guess we'll give it to him. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that looks awesome, dude. Dang, I'm so jelly. <laughs> but no, that sword is definitely better for. Uh, Junpei instead of me, since he likes those types of swords. And okay, another exit. So nice, we got a legendary treasure um, on this floor. Pretty nice. We also encounter some new enemies. Even though that is just a recolor of another sword, it's still really cool. And hot diggity dang, I'm now out of SP 100%, which is not where I want to be, honestly. And hey, some free money. Not bad, not bad. We definitely need to recover our, uh, well, pocket after we do all this Persona fusing, but okay, just one more floor, and then we will be on to the next boss, which we'll take care of in the next episode, because I think I'm pushing it a little bit for the time in this part, but hey, that's alright. I know you guys don't really mind the longer episodes when it comes down to Persona, and I'm gonna scout out a little bit. I, 
I don't know if the exit's over there, but I like to think that it's not. And I want to avoid as many battles as I can, because I do not have any SP, and obviously cannot cast any spells unless it's Siegfried in his attacks, and okay. Still no exit. Yeah, Adama, Adama's floors are huge, by the way. Pretty much that's how the game works. The higher you up, the longer the levels are gonna get. Yeah. I feel like that's something like kind of common sense to say, you know, it's obvious that the levels should get progressively harder, but you know, I just maybe want to point that out a little bit. Granted, that's not always true, but on average, the randomly generated floors are going to be more difficult. No, there's only one enemy in the center. Well, I guess we're going to have to save up and save that guy for the next time, because that is actually going to be a very frightening foe, if I remember. It is pretty much only weak to magic attacks, which is obviously not very good. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Persona 3 FES. We took on a Tartarus Guardian. We climbed a whole bunch of floors of Tartarus. We got to floor 236. And in the next episode of this Let's Play, we're going to take on that boss and also, well, pretty much just get a little bit farther into January. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys then. Bye.